Tux and welcome back to my channel you guys as y'all can tell by the title below today I will be I will be talking to you guys about how to secure the bag for school and how to go to college for free but before I get into the video you guys know that I have to do my words by Z and so today I basically just want to talk about holding yourself accountable or having somebody else that will hold you accountable and also staying motivated and these two things directly correlate with what I'm about to talk about today because uh, the scholarship process, applying for scholarships, just the entire process is a lot and it will get stressful, it will take a toll on you and you will definitely have ups and downs in the po entire process. So I basically just want to tell you guys to first have somebody to hold you accountable because a lot of times when things start to get challenging and you start to get stressful, you tend to lay back a little like you're not going as hard as you used to so have somebody who can continue to push you and put that weight to you when you begin to get less when you begin to get discouraged and not feel as motivated the second thing i want to say is to always try to look at the ending result and you know the outcome because looking from the beginning it's like oh this is a lot of work i will never make it to the end this is going to be so hard so challenging but you guys, I promise you, I am a living testimony to this. You will get through it and you will be so, so happy about all of the work that you put forth. Like I know in the beginning of the process, y'all, I was literally breaking down because I was not receiving a lot of the scholarships that I was applying for. And I felt like all of my hard work was going to waste. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in the video, but literally I am a living testimony of this. In the beginning, it may be challenging. It really may be. But at the end, you're going to be so, so happy. And you're going to be so proud of yourself about all the work that you put forth. Because it is so going to be worth it when you get to school and you're not paying anything out of pocket. So basically, you guys, just hold those two things in your head. Try to stay positive and look at the end result. And find somebody or something that can hold you accountable. But I'm going to stop rambling and get into this video. All right, so first of all, I just want to do a quick disclaimer. If I sound weird or if I'm sniffling or anything in the video, please excuse that because I am just, I'm getting over a sickness. Like I literally just got my medicine and stuff yesterday. So I'm still sick, but I'm getting over it. But I really wanted to film this video for you guys. So here I am. But I kind of made a little PowerPoint because I was like, I don't want to leave out anything in this video. Like this is so, so, it's so important. So I was like, let me make a PowerPoint because I know like sometimes when I'm recording, I will literally forget everything that I was supposed to say. So um, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was just like my entire experience. If you guys don't know, I currently go to Howard University and I have not paid anything out of pocket. And it's because I applied to so many scholarships. Um, I believe... I applied to 30 different scholarships and out of the 30 I think I only received 10 or 15 so I think that just says a lot in itself already but I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that later in the video so my experience basically um I started my scholarships in August of my senior year in high school and when I first started I was really like I wasn't determined at all I was very um just really like uh, about it I, like I really just did not feel like doing it and I know like that was probably part of like senioritis and I had so much other stuff to be doing that year and I just really did not feel like working on scholarships because honestly when you first like take that first look at the scholarships like it looks like it is a lot of work but I'm also going to talk about how we can shorten it and to make it not as much work but it, that's later in the video too so yeah in august you guys i was very like i wasn't motivated at all i was very just ugh about it i really did not feel like doing it but as you guys know it was definitely worth it um so moving on so i started doing scholarships i was doing a few in between august and december and in december that's when i was kind of receiving some of my like um 
what is it called some of the responses for the scholarships and a lot of them i was getting turned down for so that was also like very very sad and it just made me less motivated because it's like i did all this work and i'm not even getting the scholarships that i applied for so i was like really sad and you know a lot of times that's what happens like when you put forth a lot of work for something you get really less determined because it's like i did all of this just not to get it so i was really really like losing all motivation but my mom and my dad like they kept pushing me like z you got to get the scholarships because like in the end it's gonna pay off it's definitely gonna pay off so oops sorry in the end like it's definitely gonna pay off so it's just kind of like you really have to push yourself so come like around february i started receiving some more um responses and around this time it was like good responses like yeah you got this one you got this one and that was definitely like motivation to keep going um something that i really want to recommend with this process is first of all really try to stay motivated because i know like it is a lot a lot of work and it will get to be stressful do not stress yourself out about it if you feel like you're getting too stressed out take a break but i really feel like throughout the process just really encourage yourself and try to stay positive because um at the end of the day like when everything is done and you see how much money that you received and you see all the work that you put for you're going to be really proud of yourself and i know that's definitely how i felt like honestly it really didn't hit me until like my um the senior award ceremony and like i think i received two scholarships at that event and it was just kind of like really hit me like wow you really did this and to think like in the beginning you were breaking down crying because you weren't getting any yeses to any of the scholarships and you really felt like your work was for nothing but honestly you guys you will see you will begin to see it pay off like it is literally all a process but um i just really wanted to talk about my experience a little bit because i feel like a lot of times people will make it seem so easy like and i really see this with a lot of adults but they'll be like oh just a pot of scholarships there's so many scholarships out here there's so many scholarships you can be doing this stuff but they don't realize like you actually have to do a lot of work because and also you have so much other stuff to be doing and then on top of that like you will lose motivation and you won't be determined once you receive some no's to some of the scholarships but i just wanted to say that because i feel like that may help you guys throughout the process so um okay now i'm going to talk a little a little about the entire scholarship process so the first step is to find scholarships. So I feel like this is one of the parts that I know a lot of people struggle with because it's kind of like, you know, sometimes there are scholarships out here that aren't real or like they're scams and then you do the work and you're not hearing back from anybody. So the first thing that I would say is to reach out to your school counselor, um, any administrators at school and ask them like, what are some local scholarships that they've heard of um or like is the school going to give out any scholarships so first ask that because i feel like that's where a lot of my money came from it was local scholarships and scholarships through my school so ask your administrators or counselors about that first um then i know like my church gave out a scholarship so make sure you guys ask your church about it um any outside organizations that you're in they usually have scholarships too literally anything that you're a part of ask do they have a scholarship because a lot of times people have scholarships and they're struggling to get people to know about it and so you might apply and it might just be you and four other people and that just definitely helps your chances of getting it but i also know like they have national um scholarships like i think the coca-cola scholarship is national um burger king scholarship so like even scholarships like that those are the bigger scholarships but still like just go out for as many as you can because that is definitely what is going to give you a greater chance of getting some um the next thing that i had on here was to make sure you look at the requirements so for all scholarships there's requirements for them so you know like some of them are strictly just towards black kids and some of them are just towards this certain gpa and some of them are just for like seniors some of them are just for juniors and things like that so just make sure that you look at the requirements because you don't want to start a scholarship and then find out later that you can't even do it because like that's just going that's just going to create more stress if you find out halfway through the scout the um halfway through the application you can't even do it so make sure you look at the requirements um 
Also, with the requirements, that can definitely be a good thing because it cancels out so many other people. So I know certain scholarships um, are only for certain majors. So literally you will only be competing with people who are with that major. So that also helps with canceling out some of the competition. The next part that I had on here was the essay. And this is definitely something that I recommend to a lot of people, but it is to use Google Docs. Type every essay that you have in Google Docs. If you begin to edit this essay, copy it, put it into a new one so that you still have the original one. Because I know that really did help me for so many scholarships because they literally, most of the time, ask the same questions. And the questions are usually like, um, why did you choose this major? Why are you applying to this uh, scholarship place? Um, they'll ask about your community service, your leadership skills, things like that. But keep every single essay that you write because you can literally revamp it, submit it, and boom, application done with the quickness. So in the beginning, of course, it's gonna take a lot longer, but once you have the sample essays, you will literally just be copying and pasting, reading over it, editing it, making sure it's good. But the process will become so much faster once you get into it. So definitely make sure that you are keeping all of those essays. Um, also with the essays, make sure that you have one or two people reading over it for errors, you know, because a lot of times when you type your own stuff, you read over it, you may not catch everything that another eye might catch. So make sure that you have other people reading over it, even if it's just like your counselor, a friend, a parent, just make sure that somebody is reading over these essays. Um, the next part, recommendation letters. So pretty much all of the scholarships I applied for require a recommendation letter, letter whether it was from um, outside people, someone at school, counselor, they all require a recommendation letter. So just make sure that you are creating and maintaining great relationships with, you know, your teachers, your counselors, anybody who's over an outside org, because that will also, cause you're gonna definitely need them when it's time to ask for these recommendations. Um, also make sure that, when, also like when you look at the requirements for the, um, the scholarship, make sure that you look at the dates because you can shorten the amount of work that you have by breaking it up into sections. So if I had a scholarship, okay, so it's currently um, November. If I had a scholarship due in February and I needed two recommendation letters, an essay, and maybe um, a personal statement, I would probably do the personal statement one month. The next month, I would try to get the um, recommendations letter. The next month, I would do the essay. So just make sure that you're looking at the dates because you can definitely break up the work so that it's not so much of a toll on you um also make sure that you are reaching out to the people who you're going to ask for a rec letter from make sure you're reaching out to them i would say literally like a month just so that they have enough time to really go through put a lot of emotions and like details in it just spend some time and give you quality work back because if you don't give them enough time to write you a great recommendation letter then what can you expect so just make sure you do that and also, lastly, once they give you the rec letter, make sure that you get them a thank you note or a gift or something just so you can show your gratitude because I know a lot of the people who I ask rec letters from, they have done so much for me. And even, like, I've had to go back to them and ask them to write me another rec letter or to send me the same one. So it's just kind of like you want to show your appreciation because you never know when you're going to need them again. Um, okay, the next part is extracurricular activities work experience and community service. So this part I really, really, really wanna stretch. Um, it's very important for you to be involved because a lot of times it shows that you can balance your schoolwork and also other things that you do. Also make sure that you guys are seeking leadership opportunities because definitely being a president, vice president, secretary holds a lot more weight than just being a member of an org. So make sure that you try to go out for leadership roles in any organization that you're in. Um, also, when you are putting down the orgs that you are in, make sure that you are being very descriptive about what you did. So even if it was as simple as making a care basket for someone, make sure that you write, I wrote a care basket, I created a care basket for this. Just make sure you're super detailed and descriptive. And Honestly, a lot of people told me this, 
um you want to be a little bit arrogant like you really want you like the whole point of this is for you to show off what you did or what you're doing so even if you feel like you're being a little arrogant like that's definitely how it's supposed to come off because you're basically trying to show off the things that you did so don't feel a certain way about that um also i would say try to be involved in something that you're passionate about i feel like this is also something they ask about a lot about in essays like um they'll ask like what's some like a volunteer thing you do and like why you do it and really they ask that just so they can see like what you're passionate about so make sure that you're doing things that you're passionate about because that will also that will always come across as really strong and valuable because they know that you'll work hard if that's something that you're passionate in so make sure you guys um do that too um the next thing is interviews so a lot of the scholarships well not a lot but a few of the scholarships that i did required an interview um as far as interviews you know the first thing you want to do is you definitely want to dress professional um you definitely want to prepare so the way i prepare for most of my interviews if the organization that gave me the scholarship didn't give me specific questions to review i would go over the essay questions that they gave me in the application or any questions that was on the application i would go over those and go over my responses because sometimes they will ask you the same questions just to make sure like you actually wrote your answers and just to make sure to see how passionate or just to like see if you can go into more details so make sure you go over the questions on the application and the essay questions i also would recommend researching the organization that the scholarship is through because sometimes they will ask you things about the organization or sometimes you may want to answer the question connecting it back to the organization so they know that you're familiar with the organization like really a lot of foundations and stuff like that they really do like to know that you know about what they do what's their purpose and what's like their mission statement and that can also help you in the um in the interview also make sure to make sure that you arrive early so that you can just be able to calm down get your mind right and be ready for the actual interview when you go inside um i know one of the interviews i did i think it was four or five people i went around shook everyone's hand introduced myself asked them how they were doing just so we could start off on a great page and also for me that personally made me feel a lot more comfortable in the interview so make sure you do those things um lastly the last thing i did um after the interview was i sent them an email and honestly oh let me tell y'all this so with this interview during the interview i did not feel that comfort that confident i feel like they asked me a couple questions and i tripped up a little bit so after the interview i ended up emailing the person the main person who's over and i was like thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to interview with you guys um i really enjoy having a conversation getting to know more about your organization and stuff like that and i end up getting a scholarship and i'm not sure that played a major role in it but i think that definitely did help so just make sure after the interviews you know you thank them for even giving you the opportunity to sit down and talk to them so yeah um lastly i have on here is support throughout this process you're gonna need a lot of support because like i said it is a lot of work it definitely is a lot of work and you know you just need an extra push sometimes sometimes you will get overwhelmed and you may not be able to hold yourself accountable so find somebody who can hold yourself accountable hold you accountable whether it's your friend your counselor your parent literally anybody can help with this process and also make sure to, that you are thanking them and showing them gratitude because they do have to take the time out of their day to help you and things so yeah okay the next thing that i want to talk about is small scholarships versus big scholarships so i feel like i don't know if you guys have heard this before but when i first started applying for scholarships people would say a lot of people were going out for the big scholarships and that's just because they um are much more money so most big scholarships are like twenty thousand dollars twenty five thousand dollars compared to a smaller scholarship which would be one thousand five thousand five thousand dollars I really would recommend going out for a lot of small scholarships just because oftentimes they do require less work but oftentimes also less people apply for them just because more people are going out for the bigger scholarships so that goes back to me saying like ask your church orgs that you're in um just anybody ask them if they're doing scholarships because literally only like i know okay one of the organizations i was in they had a scholarship 
she told us about it. She said literally the year before that, only five people had applied. So that just tells you like going out for the smaller ones, the competition may not be as great because people don't really know about them. So make sure like literally ask everybody, everything that you are involved in, ask them if they have a scholarship because that would definitely help your chances. Um, and then like I even had a graph on here and um, more than half of the scholarships that I received was from small scholarships. So just make sure that you guys really go out for that. But also just try to apply for every single scholarship that you hear about. Like you lose nothing from applying from the scholarship. You can only gain from applying for them. So just try to apply for everyone that you guys hear. Um, I also want to stress, try to find a lot of renewable scholarships because, well, if you guys don't know what renewable scholarship is, basically it is when you receive the scholarship for that year and it's, it renews the next year and maybe it, so for me I have one that renews for four years so I'll get 5000 each year that I'm in school so make sure that you find those because that will also help you with the workload because you know you may get a lot of money for your freshman year but those may be non-renewable scholarships so then you have to go back and do a lot more work for your sophomore year junior year and senior year but if you go out for renewable scholarships then you won't have to worry about this, we're getting a scholarship for sophomore, junior, senior because you already have that money secured. So make sure you guys look for renewable scholarships. Um, okay, the next thing I kind of want to talk about was organizing how I did my scholarships. So basically, my mom helped me a lot of my scholarships and she really wanted me to do an Excel chart and basically have like the scholarship, the due date the requirements that I needed when I would work on it and I would check it off as I do the stuff. But for me, that was a little bit more difficult than what I did. So I actually just created a notes in my phone and I wrote the scholarship, the due date next to it, and I wrote what all I needed in my phone. So that was a lot easier for me to keep up with. So if it's easier for you to keep up with um, the scholarships and stuff like on your notes or on um, Google Docs or on Excel, just you definitely have to find your method in the way that you're gonna be able to keep up with it. But that also helped me with organization and stress because I could just go on my phone real quick. Oh, this dude next week. Okay, let me let me hop on it. Let me get to it. So definitely, that was something that I had to do. Um, I'm trying to see what else. I went over everything in the PowerPoint. I'm trying to see what else that I would recommend. Um, if you guys have any questions, put it in the comments because I may have forgot some things. But I think that's pretty much all as far as the scholarships. Definitely, you guys, I really just want to say motivated. I feel like that is literally the key to this. Like, it, it is a lot of work, especially. Oh, I know what else I was going to say, but okay. Um, it is a lot of work, especially like when you're doing it your senior year. You know, like you're tired, you have senioritis. But it is so gonna pay off. So really, really try to stay motivated. And once you start seeing like the yeses come in, you are gonna feel a lot better about all the work that you're putting in. The other thing that I wanted to say, because I feel like a lot of people don't know this, is that you can apply for a scholarship no matter what grade you in, you're in. Like literally there are scholarships for your ninth graders, 10th graders, 11th graders. You can literally start applying as soon as you hit high school because there are scholarships that don't ask for SAT, ACT scores. So try to find those if you are in those grades because starting earlier would definitely make it easier for you. Like you're already secure in the bag and it would just take off that load from you doing a senior year. But if you are a senior, do not feel discouraged. Um, there are also scholarships that don't even ask for SAT, ACT scores. If you feel like your score isn't that high, there are also scholarships that ask for that don't ask for your gpa if you feel like your gpa isn't that high so really i feel like do not stress there's a scholarship out here for everybody literally everybody doing anything like i've seen scholarships like if you design shoes i've seen scholarships if you do makeup literally go on google type it in um do a little research so you make sure it's legit but there's a scholarship out here for everybody and i really think it's important for you to just go out for as many as you can. Cause like I said, I literally did 30 scholarships and I'm pretty sure I only received 10 or 15, but the money adds up. So 
I believe that's all I have. If you guys have any questions about scholarships, feel free to DM me or put it in the comments below because I really do want to help out with this. I feel like a lot of people have to pull out loans for school when you really don't have to. Like, just hop on the scholarships early and you can get that money. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos.